Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an interesting question from a developer looking to narrow a string to a string literal union. They want to check if a given string matches one of the specific values in their defined union type. Let's dive into the details of this challenge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To narrow a string to a string literal union in TypeScript, we need to check if the string matches one of the allowed values in our union type. First, let's define our string literal union type. In this case, we have a type called lit that can be either A, B, or C. Next, we can create a function that checks if a given string is part of this union. We can use a type guard for this purpose. Now, we can use this function in our conditional statement to narrow the type of the string. If the string is a valid literal, we can assign it to our union variable. This approach is safe and maintainable. If we ever need to add more values to our union, we only need to update the type guard function. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To narrow a string to a string literal union in TypeScript, you can use user-defined type guards. First, define your literal type and create a function that checks if a string matches this type. In the example, if the string matches the literal type, it assigns it to a variable. Otherwise, it calls another function. This ensures type safety. To simplify maintenance, you can use a class for both compile time and runtime checks. This way, you only need to edit in one place. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user discusses a method for narrowing a string to a string literal union in TypeScript. They mention a limitation when strict null checks are off, which affects switch case exhaustiveness. They highlight that as the union type grows, the solution becomes verbose. They provide an example with a union type lit consisting of A, B, and C. The user suggests that using an enum might be a better approach. They show how to create a type guard using an enum for cleaner checks. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.